In order to assemble the wind tunnel, the pieces are color-coded red, blue, orange, green, and black. To begin construction, take the orange test section and the black control box. Place the orange test section on top of the control box, lining up the Velcro pieces on the bottom. The test section door should be on the left of the knobs. Here is a closer look of how the test section goes onto the control box. Next, take the red and blue sections of the wind tunnel. Make sure to match up the numbers that are written on the sides of each section. Once in the correct orientation, place the blue section on top of the red section, making sure the Velcro is completely attached. Next, take the green fan section, align the numbers, and once you have cor the correct orientation, place the red and blue sections on top of the fan section. Again, press down on the sections to ensure that the Velcro is firmly attached. The next step is to attach the two assemblies. There are three latches on the blue piece that attach to three hooks that are on the orange test section. Hold the green, red, and blue sections at level with the test section. Open the latches on the blue section. Move the blue section until the latches are lined with the hooks on the orange section. Next, fasten the three latches. This will hold the wind tunnel together during operation. There will be an electrical wire coming out of the right side of the control box. The same kind of wire can be found coming out of the fan section. Connect the electrical cables. There is only one way for them to go together, small connector to large connector. Just plug in the wind tunnel and you're ready to have fun.